So, trade news happening. The Atlanta Hawks just traded for guard Lou Williams. And personally, I think this is a great trade. However, before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Help me out a little bit. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, the Los Angeles Clippers acquired Rajon Rondo from the Atlanta Hawks in exchange for Lou Williams. This, personally, I feel is a very, very, very great pick for both teams. I feel like Rajon Rondo gives the Clippers the guard that they need, the lead guard that they need, and the leader that they needed. And it, this also makes the Hawks a lot better because it frees up some space in, in, as far as money goes and brings in a score, which we really needed off the bench. Somebody who can really, really um, excel our bench because, you know, you know, without Trey Young in, our offense is one of the worst offenses in the league. Now, the Atlanta Hawks will also get cash considerations and two second-round picks from the Clippers. And, of course, it's important to note that the Clippers also pursue Rajon Rondo during the offseason. Now, going into the offseason when he signed with the Hawks, by he, I'm talking about Rajon Rondo, signed a two-year deal this offseason, but as many Hawks fans may know or may not know, he's been a huge, huge, tremendous, absolute disappointment. Rajon Rondo has only averaged 3.9 points and 3.5 assists. And with players like Bogdan Bogdanovich coming back, with players like uh, Cam Reddish coming back, we don't really have a lot of room on the bench for people that are not quite producing. And Rajon Rondo, he's just been struggling at the Atlanta Hawks system. Now, in Lou Williams, the Hawks get an extra score um, that already had a successful play and a successful stint in Atlanta. I mean, you remember those 2013, 2000. 14 days where Lou Williams was an Atlanta Hawk and it's just really really glad to see him uh, Quite possibly in his career in the Hawks uniform. I know that he's a bit of an older guy However, Lou Williams he already has had a successful stint as an Atlanta Hawk So I know he's gonna be happy to be home and I know he's gonna be happy to of course uh, Be able to basically play in his backyard as he described it now the Clippers meanwhile they had they had very very lacked a true point guard all season I know that you Hawks fans don't really care too much about that. However, the Clippers, they got a really, really good pick here in Rajon Rondo. And now looking at some of the basic stats, Rajon Rondo once again averaging 3.9 points and 3.5 assists with just almost a steal. It's not really, really good. Like, it's a pretty terrible stat line, especially for what we expected him to be playing a sort of backup point guard role. Um, next to Trey Young, but however, Lou Williams, he's having a pretty great season, 12 points, 3 assists, uh, 9 steals, we won't need him to get a lot of steals or a lot of assists while those are plus, we need him to score points, and 12 points a game is really good, I mean, I like Lou Williams coming off the bench and scoring 12 points a game for the Atlanta Hawks. Now, the Atlanta Hawks get a trade grade. Um, according to this website that I'm on, according to a bunch of articles, they decided to give a grade. I basically combined all of the things, so bear with me here. Atlanta Hawks trade grade, that grade is an A. The Atlanta Hawks' goal this season was to make the playoffs. They needed to make a playoff push with Clint Capella, John Collins, and Trey Young. They're sort of big three. And not really win anything in the playoffs once they got there. Like, this team, we know this team probably won't win the finals. Of course, and as an Atlanta Hawks fan myself, I'm hoping that happens. But we know this team has a very low chance at making the finals. Like, the Atlanta Hawks, this isn't a super team. This is a great team that has the chance to build. It's especially with some of their young pieces. Now, Rondo, it was a pretty strange signing, especially considering that we had people like Brandon Goodwin backing up Trey Young. It was always a weird signing to me. I didn't quite love the signing, but I didn't hate it because I thought he'd be able to teach Trey Young um, some different things, and maybe he has, but none of those have really come to light. Trey Young hasn't spoken on him as some great, amazing mentor quite yet. Those might come out later, but Trey Young hasn't spoken on that yet, so maybe it just didn't work out for Rondo in Atlanta. However, the Hawks get a great bench player. They get a great guy in Lou Williams, who I know is going to really have a great year, a great rest of the year, um, I should say, in Atlanta, a.k.a. what he described as his backyard, because he actually graduated from high school um, in Atlanta, in Gwinnett County. So, yeah, if you guys know anything about that, that's why that this is such a big deal. Now... It, it was, it, it's weird because Lou Williams' contract expires next season and he has a whole bunch of different options to go to. He can retire, he can, he can do anything. Like he can retire, he can go to another team, he'll be a, a free agent. And if nothing else, the Hawks benefit from this trade because it saves the Hawks money next season. And that money could be really important in signing John Collins, who is going to be a restricted free agent. Restricted means we can match any offer that John Collins gets from any other team. So 
that's very, very important um, as an Atlanta Hawk fan. Now, Lou Williams might actually help the Hawks because injuries have been a huge part this year. DeAndre Hunter, Chris Dunn, he hasn't really he hasn't really played this year. Like it's been a down year for him. However, this would be big. And of course, the Atlanta Hawks are one of the worst offensive teams in the league while Trey Young is sitting on the bench and Trey Young will need some help. Now, am I going to say that Williams is going to completely solve our bench problem? No, not at all. But I am going to say that he will be a part of solving it. 12 more points off the bench is a huge plus for the Atlanta Hawks, especially with a scorer like Lou Williams. Now, the bench, it really, really, it's looking pretty decent in my opinion. I mean, you have Bogey coming off the bench. Of course, you always have Gallinari. You have a couple of other pieces. Of course, a lot of them are hurt. Like, for example, Cam Reddish coming back. He'll be a great defensive and offensive piece. He's averaging like, what, 13 a game this year? Like, that's really good. And of course, uh, Chris Dunn coming out. He's going to be a great defensive piece for the Atlanta Hawks. I believe that the bench is going to be really good, especially when all of our players get healthy. Now, in terms of my conclusion, I think this is a great trade for the Hawks. I think this is exactly what we needed off the bench. We needed a score. We needed somebody who can really fill the void when Trey Young is not in the game or fill the void when any other scorer is not in the game. I would love to see him and Trey Young play side by side in a sort of um, a certain lineup situation. Like, for example, if you want to play small ball, you can bring Trey Young in to play point and Lou Williams in to play shooting guard. However, I want to see them play side by side. It looks really exciting. Two great scores. And of course, Lou Williams is back in Atlanta, in my opinion, where he has always belonged. I've always loved Lou Williams' presence um, as an Atlanta Hawk. And I'm just really excited to see how this team's going to go. I mean, we're still near the top of the conference. We're like sixth or seventh. So it's basically the top three it's basically the Bucks the Nets and uh, the 76ers and then everybody else just fighting for a spot so the Atlanta Hawks it's more than possible that they can really really use this trade to gain some momentum and get back up in the standings as we've been on a two-game losing streak recently however thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe I feel like this is a great trade if I forgot anything let me know but I don't think I forgot anything it wasn't really a eventful trade day I of course expected John Collins to be traded especially with all of the um all of the rumors circling his name right now however I really like that we freed some cap space freed some money we can probably re-sign him next year however thank you for watching stay loved stay blessed and without further ado I'm going to end this video thank you for watching